Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be interviewing Yudai Sensei. He uh, makes very niche videos about pitch accent on YouTube. Hi. And uh, he's very active on Discord. And I think in the Refold community, a lot of different Japanese learning communities. So I think this will be interesting to sit down and talk to him. Hi, nice to meet you. This is Yudai. Yeah. Um, I teach Japanese pronunciation, um, Japanese pitch accent from my YouTube channel. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Um, and so he's achieved a very high level pronunciation in a, several different languages. So we're going to talk about his language learning journey. Um, so tell us like the first language that you really got in, into learning. Um, I think it was Chinese. Because Chinese? I, when I was in college, um, so back when I was in high school, I went to Taiwan for a trip mm -hmm. and I started studying Chinese. And I noticed, you know, Chinese pronunciation was so different from Japanese. Like, you, you can have to like um, study a lot mm -hmm. if you want to sound native and I did a lot of research on mm -hmm. it and uh, um, I I was I was so interested in phonetics after mm -hmm. studying a lot about these kind of things yeah and uh, um, uh, then then I noticed like when you try to speak a foreign language um, there are there are some sounds that do not exist in your first language mm -hmm. so you, you, you kind of have to like um, get used to those sounds as well but at the same time, you wanna you wanna imitate how to speak like native speakers, like um, including like um, natural intonation patterns, mm -hmm. or um, and li like the flow of a, of a sentence and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. There are so many aspects, mm -hmm. and uh, um, I applied those kind of things to different kinds of languages. Then I kind of um, got used to pronouncing all different kinds of languages, like, mm -hmm. including Spanish or Thai. Okay. Yeah. Did, did you mention that you studied phonology and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, so you seem very knowledgeable about, about all things pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, yeah. So the, what was the first language you really mastered the pronunciation or you got to a high level in? Mandarin Chinese. Probably. Mandarin Chinese? Yeah. Okay. And then English. And then English. And Spanish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I heard that you speak some uh, Korean yeah. as well. Yeah, just Tell a little bit. That. Yeah. Just a little bit? Um, so when I was um, when I was in vocational college, mm -hmm. um, I studied. I, I I have to take some uh, Korean classes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, then I, you know, um, when it comes to Korean, all, all that matters is um, what do you call it? Well, linking uh, linking sounds. Like there are so many uh, obscure spellings. Okay. Yeah, that I um, that I kind of have to um, <laughs> brute force memorize. Mm -hmm. Kinda like Anki. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I did a lot of Anki as well. Yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, yeah. When did you get into Anki? From the um, start or? Um, no, um, no. Six or seven years now, maybe. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Well, you're, you're a veteran Anki user then. <laughs> yeah. I think that's yeah, before probably. Anki was so well known in the language learning community. Right. True. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you hear about it from? Uh, from somebody who studied Japanese. Oh, really? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. It's always the <laughs> Japanese learners. Yeah. Um, um, like, I, I have some. American friends mm -hmm. who study Japanese and, and they, they told me about these kind of things. Okay. Yeah. So, how did you end up getting involved in that community, that Japanese? Because <laughs> you seem really involved in this like kind of niche online Discord community of like people who you make videos for people who understand Japanese already, uh -huh. but they speak English as their native language, which right. is <laughs> quite a niche group. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Well, um, I started using Discord mm -hmm. like um, six or seven years ago okay. because I, I wanted to like use English mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Yeah, I saw your account start date is in 2015, yeah. which was like when Discord first came out. Yeah. 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 So that's um, when it first started. And uh, um, so I, I just wanted to talk with uh, native English speakers. Mm -hmm. And that, that was the only like um, teaching Japanese. Was like, that was you know, an afterthought? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I kind of wanted to like, um, you know, interact with um, those kind of um, language learning communities. Because yeah. I, um, because I, I was, like, I, like you said, I, I, I knew, I already knew a lot about like... Um, Phonology? Yeah. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. And, and when did, because you're pretty involved with the immersion community and stuff, right? <laughs> How do you, like, when did you first start hearing about that and, like, those concepts? Um, so the thing is, um, um, I, I had one American friend from New York. Mm -hmm. um, he was 
um, he was so good at Japanese, and I yeah. asked why, and he said about he, oh, he talked about it, like yeah. Asia and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. And I and I did the same, you know, mm -hmm. with my English. That's I, interesting. Yeah, yeah. I I I watched like um, the entirety of Breaking Bad or oh really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, I I really want to find more Japanese people who are like that for English because there's a lot of like crazy people who really want to learn Japanese and mm -hmm. they're really hardcore about learning Japanese. But I have a hard time finding Japanese speakers who are like have the same passion for learning English. <laughs> I don't know many. Well, true. Yeah. Yeah. There, there should be. Um, I mean, there are so many English learners in Japan. Mm -hmm. But they, um, the thing is, they they only study like textbooks. Yeah. They, they're they, all. They're not using immersion. They don't, methods. they don't use like native content. Mm -hmm. and that's. I think that's a problem. And uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, if you want to reach like. Uh, really high level, mm -hmm. I don't know, fluency. Yeah, yeah. yeah you you kind of want to immerse yourself in yeah. your target language. You, you have to get input if you want to get to a high yeah. level. It's, yeah. it's pretty much impossible to get to that level without getting <laughs> lots of input. Mm -hmm. I think most people who do end up getting fluent, but they went through those processes, mm -hmm. like they go to the country and they live there, and that's where they end up getting input. Mm -hmm. But immersion is like the, the hack. Yeah. Where you can do it by right. being a hikikomori in your room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I, I some, my family could could not afford like, um, I mean, I, I wanted to study abroad, but I could mm -hmm. not because yeah, <laughs> it was too expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, so, yeah, that's pretty much what I did mm -hmm. with my English. So when you first, so when you first entered or like met that guy and mm -hmm. learned about immersion, mm -hmm. were, could you already speak a lot of English or? Um, uh, I'd say I was not like um, basic. But I, um, but I was, um, but I was not fluent. Okay. Mm -hmm. You like, like, like a conversational kind of level, or like mm -hmm. you can. Yeah. Okay. Um, that makes sense. I could somehow like um, hold conversations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. So tell us how you took your um, your knowledge in like pronunciation and linguistics and, and like phonology and stuff like that. Tell us how you use that to improve your pronunciation in your foreign languages? Um, like what uh, activities do you do to improve? Um, well, I just do a lot of shadowing. Shadowing? Yeah. Okay. I, I used to like um, um, listen to uh, ABC News every mm -hmm. single day to like, like um, imitate their pronunciation and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And uh, um, I've also watched a lot of TV shows, mm -hmm. like random TV shows in English. When you shadow, do you record yourself and listen to yeah, it? Back? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I did that a lot. Maybe I should do that because <laughs> that's something I've never really done because I can't stand the sound of my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was like, uh, I was like that too when mm -hmm. I was uh, when I first started. Okay. But yeah, um, but you know, eventually yeah. got used to it. Yeah, I think I think at a certain point you hit a wall where if you don't like do something to improve your pronunciation, it's hard to improve your pronunciation any further. Like if you don't do specific activities for improving your pronunciation. Mm -hmm. T tell us how you got started on YouTube. Like, how did you start making these pitch acts and YouTube videos? And well, um, <laughs> you know what? I, I just wanted to teach Japanese when mm -hmm. I first started because I, I quit my previous job mm -hmm. and I was <laughs> kind of bored. So I, you know, I, I wanted to like uh, do something new, productive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I ended up um, doing YouTube. But um, um, so the thing is, there weren't so many um, reliable online resources when it comes yeah. to Yeah, yeah, there's not much. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I that's why I I wanted to make um, those kind of mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty niche. Niche, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's very niche. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like the only thing I can really think of is like Dogen's pitch mm -hmm. accent course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I mean there's content in Japanese, mm -hmm. but not a lot of content in English for people learning Japanese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but Dogen's pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's good, yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, um, uh, most of his stuff um, is about like um, uh, like the basics. Mm -hmm. So you know, I, I um, uh, as a native speaker, I yeah. can I can make more advanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like so, some of the stuff you do, you go into like really specific examples too. It's mm -hmm. not just like basic pitch accent. It's mm -hmm. like you know you create you those specific scenarios where like you challenge the listener to <laughs> figure out the difference between the two pitch accents. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I, I think it's very, this is very niche, but it's very helpful to higher yeah. level learners. So, so the thing is, um, even like some some basic words used in um, like the 
what is it, N5, mm -hmm. can be pretty challenging. Like, yeah. Ippai versus Ippai. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, Ippai means like kind of a glass. Yeah, one, one glass. And then, and then Ippai a lot. Mm -hmm. These kind of things can be pretty difficult. Yeah. yeah. I find like often the most difficult part of the language is actually the foundation. <laughs> like, right, um, true. The most common expressions can often be the ones that are most confusing to beginners. <laughs> like common expressions in Japanese, like, like toyukuto, is that's yeah. often very confusing yeah. to beginners, <laughs> but it, ha it comes up all the time. Right, yeah. yeah. Is there anything um, you find difficult when it comes to pitch accent? Uh, I think the most difficult thing is just trying to memorize the, all of the patterns. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, yeah. And the difference obviously, between Avon well, and Oda, yeah. <laughs> like when, like, but for individual words, like, because mm -hmm. every word has a different pattern, uh -huh. and even if you can hear it, if you don't know which word is which pattern, it doesn't really help a lot of the time. <laughs> um, True. So the, I, I, that's something I want to try and do mm -hmm. is memorize the the more of the patterns. Mm -hmm. But also, I think it would be nice if I could just pick up those naturally in immersion. Mm -hmm. But yeah, mm -hmm. I think immersion works. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what Matt versus Japan was recommending too for pitch accent is like to to immerse and just focus on trying to hear the pitch accent right. and pick yeah. it up naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that'd be um, easier yeah. when it comes to like those kind of things rather than brute forcing on Anki. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So what what like exercises would you recommend to people to try to improve their pitch accent? Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just try to hear um, if it has. Um, like a like a nucleus, you know. Um, so like, uh, there's something called uh, pitch um, um, accent kernel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like the uh, like the, the drop. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, for example, sak sakana sakana ga. This is Hebrew, right? Mm -hmm. Low, high, high, high. Sakana ga, right? Yeah. Versus uh, atama ga, atama ga, mm -hmm. otoko ga. So, um, mm -hmm. so the uh, the last mora mm -hmm. is like the the drop. Yeah. Right? Otoko uh, ga, low, high, high, low. Okay. Yeah. So just try to hear those kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, that'd be, I think that, that's a key. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To be able to hear that and yeah. distinguish it. Yeah. Especially like when you're listening to something, because if you can pick it up naturally, you don't have to study all of that right. actively. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that's what native speakers do. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, you're talking about like, the, what is it in Japanese? Akisen to kaku. Akisen to kaku. Yeah, yeah, right. I heard yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and what about like for not the pitch accent, but the fundamental pronunciation of vowels and consonants, things like yeah, that? Yeah, um, when it comes to that, um, for native English speakers, they tend to reduce vowels, mm -hmm. their, their vowels, like um, for example, so, ba banana, mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Ba banana is banana, not like banana. Mm -hmm. In English, you reduce the, um, you know, the first vowel mm -hmm. to like uh. But in Japanese, uh, it, they're just consistent. You correctly pronounce the whole thing, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So if you said something like "kudasai," you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> it would sound super yeah unnatural, I'd say. Or um, like the Nihongo de ano tokushu haku ano chisai tsu. Tateba kata to katta to ka to na nagai oto. Tateba ano kado to kado. Okay. Ato wa n desu ne. えなんだえみんなとみんなみたいなんちさいつのばしぼうんbeast <laughs> three are pretty difficult so yeah you, you might yeah. pay attention to too. what about like uh what do you think are the most difficult like uh, consonants ah da da diru da diru ah da diru yeah okay. <laughs> so the interesting thing is it's pretty close to uh, the English uh, English uh, D sound like um yeah I've noticed yeah. that yeah. Like especially when I was first learning, and sometimes I would like act, I would mistake it for the the D instead of the right. R. Yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty much the same. But for a lot of learners, it's kind of difficult mm -hmm. to like um, get it right. Um, so uh, uh, just think of it as a. Um, I, I think it's. I think it's pretty much the same as the, the D sound. Like when you say something like better, the 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 T, mm -hmm. you know, um, that you do Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
「ラ」って言おうとすると「ラ」とか「ラ」とかその別の音にしてしまう。なんか逆にあの難しいなと思う発想ありました。Yeah. What do you find this one? 自分が思う一番日本語の難しい発音は多分多行とか。あ、多行。はいはい。Yeah. When there's like, like and a, like those two words together, are really difficult for me to pronounce. Yeah. Like ta and ka, and like those two sounds together are really difficult for me to pronounce. Yeah, like,、um, あなたが難しいってあなたあ、そうそうそう。And actually, like, 頭 is very difficult for me to pronounce. Like, あ、そうですか。頭。Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because it has the ta. Like,、mm-hmm. a, 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 the a sound and the t and k are very difficult for me personally.、Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah.、Um, so when you pronounce it, your tongue kind、mm-hmm. of touches behind your teeth. Yeah. But like, um, um, in Japanese, um, um, so the difference is, 日本語の場合もうちょっと前よりなんですよね。うん。Like this. タタタ。But in English, it's more like. It's in the, ta, in the back?、Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, I've heard this actually because Dogen made a video about、yeah. this, this sound. Yeah. So I, I saw in his video, he said like the blade of the tongue touches the teeth more in the Japanese sound、mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah. And the aspiration. タ、um, タ<笑><笑>。Yeah. あの強いですけど。In Japanese, it's, it's more.、Um, も,もっと弱い感じですよね。うん。Yeah. Another one is like the, the K sound. Yeah. yeah. The K sound is quite difficult, especially、yeah. like, 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 ki, like,、mm-hmm. like, kiku. I just I feel like I'm、yeah. saying it wrong when I say it when I say that sound. Well, yeah. It's a D voice as well. Like, ki, like yeah. kiku. Yeah. yeah. That's what I find very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. これは英語じゃなくて中国語母語話者、中国人の方なんですけど、行きましたっていうと、行きましたってその「き」がほとんど母音がないんですね。うん、発音されないそうなんですけど中国人の方はこれを「まあ、行きました」って言ってしまうとちょっとおかしいけど「行きました」like the, the K is too strong yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I, I've, I've noticed that like the, that the K is D voice、mm-hmm. but I've had a difficult time reproducing that myself <laughs> right yeah. yeah can be challenging yeah like another thing is when I'm speaking a lot of the time、mm-hmm. I'll like, I'll, I'll hear the, I'll get distracted by the fact that I can hear my accent. Like, <laughs> like I'll, be, I'll be speaking and then I can tell I said something with a weird、oh, sound,、yeah. with a weird accent, and then I'll get distracted、yeah. and like stutter and、I、derail the yeah. conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It kind of happens when I speak English as well.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, what, what do you feel is like a, like a challenging part of English or something that you struggle with? Just that. Everything. You know? Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> yeah. English pronunciation is so hard. I'm not gonna lie. You know? That's true. It, yeah. There's a lot of sounds that aren't in Japanese、mm-hmm. at all or not similar right, to Japanese.、Right. <laughs> It doesn't sound anything like Japanese, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like,、um, a lot of Japanese people can't really pronounce, like, for example, if you're in the park, park, or something like that. Oh, park, park. あの日本人が例えば「I have a car」って言おうとすると「あの I have a car」みたいになっちゃう、oh, yeah, yeah. こ,こ,こういうの難しいんですよ本当に、mm-hmm. yeah. I see yeah <笑> the, the P sound is the P sound hard?、Mm-hmm. The aspiration the, is kind of hard yeah the yeah. aspiration yeah. <笑> yeah. 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 例えばじゃあ何だろうな、um, when you say something like impact you know、mm-hmm. <笑>でも Impact. 日本語だったらインパクト。Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I see, I see, yeah. Yeah. Oh, another one? And, and the word that I always find difficult to pronounce、mm-hmm. without sounding like shit is the word like tatueba. I always sound bad when I say that word. Because <laughs> it's like. Tatueba. Tatueba. Yeah. yeah. But it always sounds like I have a very strong accent when I say that word.、Uh-huh. Because it has multiple T sounds and、uh-huh. I have trouble with that sound. Yeah. And also,、yeah. I think the B sound can be challenging as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's, a, it's like、um, when it's placed between vowels,、mm-hmm. it kind of、um, weakens. Like, I don't know what you call it, but yeah, it's kind of、um, it's kind of soft. The B sound? Yeah.、Okay. Yeah. Like, for example, if you say, Yabai, you say, Yabai. Oh, yeah. Yabai. 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 ちょっと弱い。Like, I see that, I see that. Yeah. Yeah. 例えばって言った時も、例えば。なんか例えば。例えばではなくて、例えば。例えば。ちょっと弱い。OK。I'll try to, I'll think about that when I try to pronounce it. Another one, another word that I 
I always sound bad when I pronounce it. It's like the word like nebedu. Nebedu. Uh, it I always sounds a... bad. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing is, um, you know, ta taberu to ka, leberu to ka yuto tabun sono, ushiro no boin, sono, be to ka, sono, ga son nanka, bu mitai na chef to ka. Yeah, yeah. Oh, in the ego bogo washa no ka tam, America jin to ka, Yuzu jin no ka to da to, nanka, tadeba, leberu mitai na. Yeah, that's what that's exactly what happens to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. And these kind of things can be pretty tricky. It's, it's really like, yeah. I guess, like, komakai like, stuff, but like, yeah. it really bothers me when I can't <laughs> say the word right. And I'm like, I've been studying Japanese for so long, I can't say this freaking word. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Yeah. まあ、でも私も同じですよ。私も英語しゃべったときに自分で例えばなんでこんな簡単なタイミングそうですよね。はいはいうん、あるあるですね。Yeah. What's like the, the hardest word in English that you struggle to pronounce? A lot of words. A lot of... I, I say most words. <laughs> most words. <laughs> yeah. But right now you're speaking, you're able to pronounce the words. Is there still like a word that you have trouble yeah, pronouncing? Yeah, I'm, I'm tired. I, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. And uh, um, um, so, like, um, word, what is it? Like, Tango, Jitai, wa, Hatsun, Dick, the Mo, Boom, to Sha Hatsun, Sun, and Scashi. Oh, that's so I can't even say. So, that's a way, Watashiwa, Nihongo, Benkyo, Stay, was a busy Korea, okay, that's good. Watashi, Nihongo, Benkyo, Stay, was a good to suit. Yeah, that's so soon. But Ego, the Motateva, Ja, that's the job. I think so. I think so too. 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 And also, like, the, the, yeah, the overall like, intonation changes mm -hmm. and things get pushed together. Like, they get slurred together. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's like, yeah, like, what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> and those are, especially if you learned a lot through like the written language, it's very difficult right, right, to get right. over those. <laughs> Or like make those connections in your head, mm -hmm. and you all like some people will always pronounce it like, like, uh, like what did you do? Or is it would be like what did you do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think a, a lot of English learners mm -hmm. have these kind of problems. When it yeah, comes to like, um, like connecting words, connecting mm -hmm. those kind of things. Yeah, yeah for sure. And in, in Japanese too, I'm sure <laughs> we all have those mistake or those issues. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's like. Uh, there's, the sentence is composed of words that I have no problem pronouncing on their own, but when I try and pronounce them in a row, it sounds worse. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. What was your, your favorite language to study out of the, the language you've studied so far? Uh, that's, a, <laughs> that's a toughie. My, I don't know. Like, um, I like English and Chinese, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I, I'm not fluent in Spanish, but I, I like Spanish. <laughs> I yeah. hear Spanish has more similar pronunciation to Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah that too. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, I like um, Spanish verb conjugation. Okay. Yeah, it's so complicated, oh, but, right. I like it, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, I remember learning about some of that in college, or yeah. I mean, sorry, in high school. Yeah. I, I took Spanish classes, yeah. and I remember learning they have so many different conjugations. Yeah, and depending on the tense words. Yeah. yeah. Personal pronoun. Yeah. yeah. And uh, um, I like... Um, the um, Thai writing system, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, um, it, it's pretty, like, I don't know why, but I, I find it pretty um, interesting mm -hmm. to, like, write. What is, is does Thai have its own uh, system? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It came from, like, um, uh, the, um, what is it, yeah, some kind of in Indian lang lang language, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it yeah, yeah. sounds familiar, yeah. like Sanskrit or something yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And what do you feel is your best language right now, other than Japanese, obviously, because that's your native language? Uh, English, maybe? Yeah. English? Okay. These days, I, I, I mainly speak English. Yeah. I'm not using Chinese uh, these days anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Plus, if you're online a lot, everything online is in English. So right. <laughs> I kind of have to speak English every day. Yeah. yeah. One thing I think of a lot is that like, if you only speak Japanese, the amount of information you can access is very limited. But if you True. if you learn English, there's so much more information available to you yeah. online and stuff. Yeah. And there are so many interesting YouTube channels. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. English speakers always complain about Japanese YouTubers not being interesting when they 
try to learn from Japanese mm -hmm. YouTube? Yeah, it's mainly because uh, we don't have a lot of people. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think in comparison to the population, there is actually, like compared to how many people there are that speak Japanese natively, there's actually quite a lot of stuff written in Japanese and made right, in Japanese. Yeah, yeah. But compared, you can't beat English. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eng English is so dominant. Yeah. Is like... there anything else you want to talk about? I don't know. まあ、なんかこれ私のビデオでも言ったんですけど、あの、私はね、あの、ピッチアクセントを発音を気にしすぎる余り喋れなくなっちゃったりとかそうなんですねうんそれは良くないなと思ってるのでまあだからなんかピッチアクセントもネイティブのようにま聞こえたいからっていうよりはまあうんそうですねうん自分のその伝